And with that, hello, you beautiful people, and um, welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds. Oh, wow, this is a job? Feels more like a vacation. Where we are in the second um, DLC, Murder on Eridanos. And I am pumped to see what we are going to need to do. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight salvage and shipping underground, or slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Can you fill me in the details of the murder? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. He did it. It's always the boyfriend. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Um, typical show business. Now, um, was she a um, divisive figure? Mm, not particularly. But I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How did she get famous? Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the Spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo's. What's the product release? A, was the product release a big deal? Hope you keep it cancelled. One less bullshit. No. Uh, yes, yeah, Slug. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Bags? Yeah, what bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, your belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but... Do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Maybe you should take that stupid head off before you criticize my appearance. Of course I do. Are you telling me you don't? Um, no, that would be ridiculous. The lie is good, but no, um, the head thing. <laughs> well, uh, reckon I can respect your candor, even if it scares me a smidge. Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. It's gonna take a while, but I'll try. I think I must try. I could have sworn you just said we aren't allowed to depart. That was not stealing. At least it did not indicate it. And yes, you know, I said the next time I'm well, I said that a couple Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. A couple of episodes ago, I said, well, the next time... I oh, that looks beautiful. Oh I said I'm gonna this upgrade weapons, hell? but... I've only ever seen a place like this in periodicals. Or that one episode of Agent Khan. Then I thought, um, let's see how tough the en uh, animals, enemies are before I upgrade anything, right? I've always wondered what that mascot's got in his hands. 
I'll bet you ten bits this is all just some... With... The crime scene's awaiting, Inspector. Can't believe something like this could happen in my hotel. When I found her, I was just hoping she had a little too much to drink, but all the grievous bodily injury adds up, I suppose. She was lying in a pool of blood and your first thought was, I wonder if she's drunk? Hey, Byzantines and restraint aren't two words that often go together. Wouldn't be the first blood-soaked, unconscious party gore I've come across. Anyway, I'm sure you've got questions. Um, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, did you see um, Helen on the day of her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. I think we both know um, that you're itching to gossip. Yeah, I think that's good. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the britches to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises of the profit of profitability. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially strange, seeing how, as far as I was aware, the two didn't get on. What's the deal with the profit of profitable? Oh, goodness. She guessed. Um, no. Why didn't Helen and the prophet get along? As far as I can recall, Helen dismissed the lady's seminars in some kind of interview. Said her co-star used them, but she didn't. The top rungers are always ready to read between the lines of famous folks and seem to think the prophet was on her way out. Woman lost a ton of bits and is set to lose more. Okay, what's the deal? Uh, yep. Gives seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't say much else, seeing how I ain't in the gossip market. Okay, but you are. Back to my other questions. I hope all that helped. I'd like to be as useful as I can in the investigation. I just didn't want to steer anyone the wrong way. You want to give me more details on how you came across the body? Sure, I'd taken to checking the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya. Thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. Uh, did you... Any idea why Helen would have um, been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was... Uh, practicing for the unveiling? Did you kill Helen? You can't tell me if you did. <laughs> It'll be our secret. What? No! Just because I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. I was in shift all day. Besides, I love Helen cereals. Well, the old ones anyway. The newer episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Okay, back to the other questions. Sure. What's on your mind? Um, got any idea who might have wanted to do... Wait a second. Got any idea who might have wanted to do Helen in? Okay, good. Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. Okay, goodbye, then. Um, do we have any? Th okay, we need to get in there, but what is... Ah, sealed elevators. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. That poor fellow must be inconsolable. Okay, that's where we need to talk. Uh, who we need to talk to? Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Let's skip the pleasant news. I'm ready to begin my investigation. Constable Key, nice to meet you. We spoke over the um, ether wave. Constable Maria Keen, it's good to meet you in person, Inspector. Dr. Goodnight, ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on. Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. I'm guessing you're talking about um, the body. What body? Oh, that. Goodness, no. This is far more interesting than Halcyon Helen's rapidly cooling corpse. 
Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. What does the thing do exactly? Ah, if it would be better in... Long guns engineering, this looks like a scope modified with a computing device. I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to explain. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Um. So it's a. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's a magnifying glass, but an extraordinarily powerful one. It looks through the glass of reality itself. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. Okay. Um, greetings, Inspector. Thanks to the half-genius, half-mad scientist Sorry, scientific mind of Dr. Goodnight, you've been granted the Dispensy Amplifier a, a handy investigation device for uncovering clues throughout Eridanos. Be sure to equip the um, Dispensy Amplifier in the weapon slot um, before you continue your hunt for Helen's killer. Alright. Let's see. Okay, it even does it even does do damage. Alright, here we go. Okay, to catch Helen's Keller, you need to use the amplifier scope to reveal clues not visible to the naked eye. Uh, once you've located some evidence, aim directly at it while zooming um, in with the scope and press the interact button to analyze it. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The discrepant this unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of begin amplification. Ah, uh, sure, yeah. Uh, let no. You can talk. The discrepancy amplifier has been programmed to function as a helpful and perceptive aid to the enterprising inspector in the absence of a reliable deputy. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. Okay, let's get started. Tell me about the um, discrepancy you found. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Uh, do the size of the footprints match anything you have um, on record? Footprint is a tailor-made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Uh, can you analyze the dirt? The dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonial. So Helen must have been um, at the... Um, oh my goodness, my, I'm, I'm, I, I need to apologize for my English. Orchards before she died. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, that means we are actually already at the end of the first 
episode here, so to say. First episode. Um, is this... Oh, hello. But that is always possible. Um, yeah. End of the episode. Guys, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you actually do have enjoyed this little episode, then please give me a little thumbs up. And... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Episode. Okay, that we have. Then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully, and hope. Okay, I I I think he was um just showing this one right, and hopefully, and hopefully I see you in. The next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. I Bye. Knew I